For me, this is all new. Finding these animals. Look at that, he's coming to the camera. What's up, dude? Let's get a good shot of its tongue. Yeah, its tongue is real bright blue. Look how blue that tongue is, guys. What a beautiful snake. So cool, right there, sleeping on that leaf right there. Looks like an ordinary lizard, right? It's not, it's a flying dragon. going on beautiful people I'm here with David we're on our way through this very thick jungle right now we're here in Thailand and we're trying to find all types of different snake species we're trying to find King Cobra mainly we're looking for uh, we're looking for crates we're looking for cat snakes we're looking for all, really anything I've never been to Thailand so this is That's a dream come true too. mammals too this place has elephants it has tigers it has Asiatic black bears but what's really cool is there's a good chance we're gonna be seeing elephants because right now we're seeing Elephant dung every what? Like every two kilometers. Elephant dung everywhere that we're seeing it right now, there. right there. So they're using the roads at night to have an easier route walking around, picking food off the side. So we're definitely gonna probably run into them. Now we're in a car cruising. The other night, the first night, a real herping for me. We're on a moped. I'm riding on the back, and there's a giant bull elephant in the middle of the road. I yeah. mean, you guys saw that. And then the group of them. Oh, and then we saw a whole bunch of them before that, families, but the thing was, this was a bull, and it was by itself, so, oh, look at this, guys, first snake, first snake. Wait, these are fast as hell. Can I grab it? Yeah, go for it. Woo, look at that, beautiful. Whoa. Beautiful snake. I've never caught one of these in this area before. Really? Nope. And he's probably going to take a lunge at my face. Oh, oh, <laughs> You can take a lunge at me, buddy? Wait, I gotta move the car. Can you hold him for a second? Okay. So guys, this is a red-tailed racer that David just grabbed. It is puffing up its neck in defense. So basically, they just bring in a whole bunch of air and they try to make themselves look as big as possible to defend themselves against predators. Basically, just trying to show off and say, look, I'm so big, I will come after you, I'll tag you in the face. Look how beautiful the coloration is of this animal's face. And look at this, let's get a good shot of its tongue. Yeah, its tongue is real bright blue. Look how blue that tongue is, guys. What a beautiful snake. And it's called the red tail racer because of the red pigment on that tail right there. This is so cool. It's, it's such a crazy looking snake. And for me, this is all new, finding these animals, Look at that, he's coming to the camera. What's up, dude? What's going on? Oh, now he will try to bite me in the face, but it seems like this animal isn't bitey at all. It's very reluctant. Uh, David just grabbed it and it postured and struck, but it didn't try to bite at all. And not once has it opened its mouth at me. So he's cracking his mouth right now. And what he's doing with his tongue is he's targeting. He's holding his tongue out, picking up all the scents and smells, trying to figure us out. Now this animal averages out, what, around seven feet long? Yeah, something like that. They're pretty large, and what's really cool about this, my target species is the King Cobra while I'm out here. This is a favorite food of the King Cobra. They love to eat these red-tailed racers. Look at that. Look how calm he is. He's not trying to bite me in the fingers. He's not... Maybe I spoke too soon. Look at that. All he wants to do is get to a higher elevation. He's checking me out. 
And if you look right here, this animal has been attacked before. Look at this. A bite from another animal. A little scar. Look at that white coloration breaking through the scales. I love this snake. It's so beautiful. Guys, check out this plant. Watch what happens right when I touch the leaves. They have a special defense mechanism. Look at that. Wow, look at that. Their leaves automatically start to close and fold in. It's almost as if every touch kills the plant, but it's not it's just folding in and it's protecting itself. That is so cool. Look at that. What's going on guys? This is so cool. Right there, sleeping on that leaf right there. Looks like an ordinary lizard, right? It's not, it's a flying dragon. It is a real flying dragon. It is a Draco. Found here in Southeast Asia and also on the Komodo Islands. It's awake. I'm gonna try and be quiet and show you why they're so cool. Look at this. Look at this. This is my first time ever capturing one of these guys, let alone seeing one in person. Look, this is a flying dragon. Guys, look at these wings. So their ribs spread apart and fan out this skin. They jump from the side of a tree and they glide. They can't flap their wings and flutter and fly. They actually just glide from a high elevation down to another branch when avoiding a lip. Uh, a predator, something like a flying snake, which will love to prey upon these guys. Check like the... if it has cool pattern underneath the wing flap. Let's see. No, it's just yellow. Look at that. It's still beautiful. Look at that. Those yellow wings. This is so cool. My first ever flying dragon. Let me show you the wings one more time. There you go. There are different colorations, different species. So this is just one of many we could possibly find. A flying dragon, that is crazy. That is so cool. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go let this guy go. Actually, we have some young herpers here with us that might wanna check him out. You wanna see this, little flying dragon? Yes. We, oh, 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 relax, relax, relax. Look at this. It's a little flying dragon. Look at his wings. How cool is that? Okay, so, oh, there he goes. It's right there in the rock. He just ran off. That was awesome. That was a spicy meatball. Oh, we need to be quiet. There's a there's small boars around here. And penguins. Let's go see what else we can find. What's going on, guys? We've got a common wolf snake right here. David just spotted it in a little drainage ditch on the side of the road. We just pulled him out. Look how beautiful the coloration is. It's like a dark brown with a beautiful gold breaking through the scalation. And he's got a beautiful yellow color right about there. Notice he's got very tiny little eyes. Look at that beautiful snake. Very touchy too. Every time I try to handle him, he gets real bitey. The snake is not reluctant to bite. <laughs> he's not afraid to bite. He's already gnawed on me a couple of times. But uh, the bite isn't too bad. And if I handle it, oh, oh, you're going to be nice. You're going to be nice. You're just going to give me cuddles. Look at that, what a beautiful snake. And this species can get about three, four feet long, right, David? Right. Uh, these ones don't get as big, I'd say about like two feet. Max. Okay, one of the smaller wolf snakes out here. Oi, oi, that's why they're called wolf snakes, because of those gnarly teeth right at the front of the face. Ah, remember how I said the bite isn't that bad? It's like a, it's like a naughty pinch, I don't like it. You know, the, this isn't my girlfriend, I, I don't appreciate it. I'm just kidding, I don't have a girlfriend. You guys know that. It's because I'm out here in Thailand catching snakes. You gonna be nice? You gonna be nice? Oi? You're not gonna be nice, are you? Don't do it again. That would be rude. Look at that beautiful eyes. So many different species of wolf snake out here. I can't wait to find more. Oh yeah, beautiful white underbelly. We're friends now? Huh? Yeah. 
Okay, we're good. All right, let's go let the snake go. Uh, he was crawling this way. That one fell back yeah. into the jungle, and he fell down into here. And he was trying to get out. He just gave him a hand. Ooh, you they hunt, they hunt along these walls for geckos at night. Oh, and during the day, they sleep in the leaf litter. Boy, stop biting me. I'm letting you go now. There we go. Look at that beautiful snake. Everything here is so rich with color. Every snake, bug, plant, rock, everything here is so beautiful in Thailand. Southeast Asia has so much to offer. It's endless. Every day I'm finding something new. Look at that trail of termites. Just on their way. Look at this. Taking little chunks of this wood right here. Chewing into it. Taking it back all the way back. So they're for it. There should be a termite mound somewhere down that trail, and they're bringing it all back. That's awesome. Guys, look at this beautiful Emma Zagama we just found. Look at the horns on top of its head. That is insane. Beautiful, beautiful lizard. Guys, look at this. A black and white porcupine. We saw a mother and a baby in the middle of the road. And now we're seeing them behind this restaurant. Because when they have all the leftovers finished at this restaurant right here, they put them all in a big pot and they dump it right here on the edge of the forest and all types of crazy wildlife has come here. David's seen Asian black bears come up to eat here. He's seen porcupines, all types of wildlife come to eat the scrap. I'm gonna see how close I can actually get without getting quilled. charge they will quill you they'll turn to the side and prick you if you get hit with one of the quill it can actually inch its way from the injury where you're pierced and come out another side of your body so I really don't want to get hit with one of these quill really close. That is so cool. So they're obviously used to the idea of people with the restaurant being right here. And they're actually preparing some food right now for us, so we're gonna go eat.